G'day guys, um, we're here for another video, and this video we're going to be doing gauges. Um, we've got little Luigi here. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna, he's going to be helping me install, I've got these gauges I bought off Car Mods Australia. Sorry, Which is you? like, pretty much doing it. Yeah, exactly. But no, I want to learn, so I'm, I'm no, he, he's helping. I'm helping, should I say, he's doing. <laughs> um, so I got like this, um, you guys would know it, it's off like a, so it replaces your clock in the GDs. Um, they're all the same. Um, I'll show you one sec. So it replaces um, this clock area just here. So this pod pretty much just goes right there like that. And it has all the three gauges. I've On these gauge set, I've got oil pressure, oil temp, and boost. So they're the gauges I'll be doing on this one. So um, good old Luigi's getting started already. What are you doing, Luigi? Uh, so right now, I'm just trying to figure out um, where all these wires go. Because there are so many. Yeah, so we've got like a little diagram. Um, I don't know, I probably lost it. But I opened these earlier and I'm guaranteed I've lost parts, so. Yeah, so like obviously you lost the one that's actually the most important, uh, which is the boost one. So now I'm like legit just playing freaking. I remember how to do the boost one though. You do remember how to do yep. the boost one? Yep. Okay, then. All right. You got three different wires here. Which goes where? So they go in there somewhere. <laughs> It doesn't help that they're both uh, four pin plugs. I know, it's stupid. But yeah, they go they go in there. So we're gonna find out. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll try to find the diagram and I'll be back. So um, what we're doing at the moment, well, what I'm doing, is I am boring these out because the gauges don't actually fit inside of it. Like they don't fit properly inside of this. So I'm gonna have to just shave off a little bit. I'm just gonna use a knife and just shave it off a little bit so we can slide it in there and then we should be good. So, what Luigi is doing, is he is... Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to start cutting all the lines and stuff and feeding him through. So, we got our T-piece here, we got our line, and we got our filter, just so we don't get gunk in the lines. Okay, um, so what we got to do is we are going to go to the blow valve and we're going to cut this tube right there. Which one? So, this one right here. And basically, that T piece is going to come here and it's going to rejoin those lines together. And that last T there is just going to go straight to this tube and it's going to go inside the cabin that's going to go connect straight to the gauges. So then you're going to have, you can tell how, like, how much boost you're pushing, <laughs> how much boost you're pushing. Um, it's a bit more accurate when you connect it to the blow valve. All right, so basically, he's just connecting all that stuff and then we're going to see how much boost we're pushing. So, <laughs> so yeah, we'll um, we'll I'll put a timer so we can put all that stuff in. We just, um, well, I just bought all this out, so all this is sitting in there nice and pretty. Sits like that. Um, and Luigi went and put the little T piece in. Where is he? Put it down just down here. And if you can see that or not, and we've gone and went underneath all this here, and then we're in the firewall just there. Um, and then we've come out. I'll show you where we came out. We came out right here under there. And then we lead it up through here and we'll pull it through this hole. Oh, nice lighting, there we go. Pull it through this hole and there's a line right here. So yeah, so now what we're gonna do is um, pretty much just wire it all up and I'll see you guys when we're wiring it up, I guess. So we've just gone and we'll um, put all the brackets on the back of these so they hold in nice and tight. Um, and so all this is already set, ready to go. Uh, we've gone and put the wires on the back of the boost gauge, and now we're about to wire all these ones up, which we're trying to figure out right now. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys when, actually, while Luigi's figuring out all the wiring, I'm gonna pull out, oh no, we've redone that, don't worry. No, I scrapped that, don't worry. Ignore me. So what we're doing now is just 
joining all of the white ones with the white ones, the red one with the red one, etc. Just all the colors together. Um, and then we can connect it inside the car, but we're just making it so they're all just one sort of thing. So we don't have to worry about having to do it separately and making separate ones. So we're all, we're all we're doing is just twisting them together and then we'll do it properly inside the car. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you guys once we have it in the car. So we're cutting it really close to time now, but what we've done, well, what I did is I gone and joined all these up to here. It looks a bit of like a bit of a mess. It is a bit of a mess. That's why it looks like a mess. Um, and we've just gone and lengthened it up a little bit so we can get it in the car a lot easier. So now we're going to try to wire them up, but I gotta go to work in about 10 minutes. So we'll see how far we can get and then I'll continue on with it tomorrow. So we're wiring this up to what's in the car um, and we're just hoping for the best. So hopefully this works, but if it doesn't work, then bad luck because I gotta get to work. So we'll just have it wrong for that night. And then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and see lasagna again. Um, and then, yeah, so we'll get it done tomorrow. Moment of truth, will it light up? What do you reckon? 50-50? I reckon no. Can you hear that song real quick? Well, there you go. So it's actually the next day now, um, and I am back at good old Luigi's house. Um, and we actually had to go to his soccer game because I decided I was going to get pulled over and that was a little bit of a problem in itself. So I came here a little bit late. <laughs> um, I didn't do anything bad to get pulled over, it's just your usual Australian police. Um, so now I am here trying to finish doing the gauges. So we've gone and figured out now that if we turn the car on, one sec, if we turn the car on to accessories, it doesn't start, but straight away when we turn these lights on, it turns on. So, what we gotta do is we gotta try to figure out how to change it, which should be pretty simple. We're just gonna change it from what it is there to onto accessories instead of lights. So we just gotta switch them around, hopefully that's all good. And then after we've done that, we're gonna drain all the oil, put this little um, adapter on, and then from we do the when we do the adapter, we can put the oil filter in and there's like a little sandwich thing which is that adapter I'm talking about and then you put your, sense, your sensors into that and hopefully then oil pressure and oil temp will work perfectly. I'm hoping. So we've just gone and pulled my car in, um, his little garage um, and we are now going to start feeding the wires for the oil pressure and oil temp gauges. We're going to feed it through the firewall just here um, and then feed it underneath, so then we're going to jack the car up um, and then we'll start connecting it all. So we've just gone and fed these two lines down through in here, down underneath and out underneath just right under here. We had to pull out this section right here. Um, and now we're going to feed it straight out the firewall which is just below the brake pedal I believe. Uh, just above the uh, clutch pedal. Actually. Just above the clutch pedal um, is the firewall. Um, and then we're going to feed that out the other side, which I'll grab from him. I got one half. Oh yeah, perfect. Got it. Yeah, okay, we're going to run it. We have to run it like away from the turbo, so it doesn't melt the lines. We have to keep it away from anything that moves, which is shafts, uh, steering column, all this kind of stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to file it through down the side of the body. So right down, it's going to come right down where the brake brister is, it's going to come straight down, we're going to get a few zip ties and we're going to zip tie it to the chassis and then we're going to run it straight across the key frame, we're going to zip tie it across the key frame so it doesn't hit anything and then it's going to go straight to the oil filter. <laughs> is we're going to take these off. So they're just like little block off things, are they? Yeah. 
So you got two gauges, one oil, one um, one oil temperature, one oil pressure. So you'll need both of them here. There's a third one here for if you need something else. Yeah. Which I can't remember which gauge it is, but this is never tight, so make sure it is tight. Because I've done that mistake on my car once, I didn't check if that was tight and it just started leaking through. <laughs> so that's nice and tight. Rubber side facing up. Yep. Towards the car. Uh, we'll start with this one. So we'll start with the oil temperature one. Um, like that. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> we're just making sure if it works. Yep. Yeah, it works. All right. So it's got Teflon tape or like Loctite, whatever it is on there already. Yep. Okay, so we don't have to put some on, which we are lucky. The fuel, uh, the oil pressure doesn't have one, so it's better, you're better off using some Teflon tape. Yep. Just so that you reduce the risks of having any leaks through. Yep. So when I'm putting Teflon tape on, obviously you screw in and righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, do not put Teflon tape on the way that you go in. Always go the opposite way. So oh, okay, yeah. So you twirl it around right if you go on left and left if you go on right. Ex what? <laughs> that, was a, that was a dyslexic way of saying it. <laughs> yeah, so. What we're going to do is we're going to clean this up a little bit with some brake cleaner. Usually you change the, um, the sun plug washer, but this one seems to be okay still. It hasn't been squished, which is good, so we can reuse that. So we've got really important hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bad problems here. We've got a big old spider there. Wait, no, but I feel bad. Okay, I'm no. here. <laughs> Huge husband. Put the sun plug back on. Okay. Put the filter remove on this. On 2008 with the ones we We gotta put um this on before we put the filter on. But we're going to um we have to we've got like this little tap thing that goes into the actual car and it re-threads it, this thing here. So what it does is this part threads into the car. Nope. I believe, or the other way nope. around. So the other way around. So Okay. So this will go through here, right? And it'll okay, pop up yeah. here. Yep. So that rubber keeps it sealed so there's no oil leaks. Yeah. This actually threads onto the car, like like your oil filter would. Yeah. Right? And you tighten it and it'll... Ah, okay. It so here. it's the other way around. It's literally the opposite of what I said is right. Yeah. Okay. And then basically, <laughs> your oil filter is going to come and screw onto this one. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. Cool. So we've now gone and just changed um, the, where all these plugs are and we're going to figure out how much we need to cut because we're actually just going to slice a little bit of this off just so it fits properly, properly should I say. Um, so we're just going to figure out how much we need to cut off this and from that we'll just cut a little bit and hopefully it'll fit properly because I really don't want to have to drain oil again and all that. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how we go. So we've successfully gone and cut this up. Not we, Luigi. <laughs> successfully gone and cut this up, thanks to him, because he's a legend. Um, and now it fits. It looks a bit on the um, Put your head. on the sketchy side, but it isn't. Trust me. <laughs> um, and give me a light. so, give him a light. So now we're just gonna put all the oil filter and everything back on. Put the oil in. Connect all the wires, and hopefully that's it. And pray to God that it works. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys when we're connecting everything, I guess. So now we're about to put oil in back in the car um, and pray that it doesn't leak, as Luigi's doing vastly praying for it. Yep. 
<laughs> um, if it leaks and the car goes back up again, then it's going to be a nightmare and I'm going to be absolutely stuffed tomorrow for work. But, is what it is. Um, but, yeah, so, right, like I said, we're going to put oil in the car now. Um, and then I'll get back to you guys, I guess. So, yeah. So now what we're doing is we're back in the car. We're just waiting for the oil to go down um, to get a more accurate reading. Um, so now what we're doing, or what Luigi's doing, is putting little connectors on it. Because we're having a little bit of a problem with it um, disconnecting when we don't want it to. So, yeah, we're putting little connectors on them, and then we'll read the oil again, and hopefully everything will work. So I'll get back to you when we're actually testing if this works or not. Is that the car with it as well? Yeah. Well, so we've just gone and wired all of this up here. Again, we switched all everything, so it's all hopefully working. So moment of truth will work. Please. <laughs> Perfect. And the lights aren't on. Awesome. Um, the nice sound. I'm going to have to wake up to every single morning at 4 a.m. if I'm going to work with it. So let's not drive it to work. Yeah. That's flashing, so maybe we start the car, hopefully green pressure. Or the opposite. So we've gone and figured out that I think we got them the wrong way around. Um, the only problem we're having now is this isn't reading, but it could be just because the car's really cold, so that's what we're hoping. Um, but we've got this one working and the boost gauge working, so let's just hope this goes up. Moving yeah. So we've finally got it working. It was just a little bit loose underneath the car. So we've gone and plugged that in again, and it's all working now, as you can see. So we're going to quickly put it in now before everything breaks again. <laughs> so we've just got her out now. Um, we're about to go for a drive. We're about to see if it works. Well, no, it's going to work. It's about to see what, where it sits and what it's doing. I'm very white. I'm like a little ghost. There we go. Um, so yeah, we're about to go for a drive, see how it all goes. So we will, I think. Luigi's gonna record it and yeah, so I'll see you guys after the drive. So we just went on. We just came out of the car for a drive, as you guys just saw. Um, everything seems to be working fine. So thanks to big old Luigi, um, we'll all be able to get that all going well. I'm gonna skedaddle home. Huge thank you to good old Luigi. <laughs> um, I will send. I'll put all of his links in the description and everything. Um, and honestly, if it wasn't for him, none of this would have got done. So like, literally, a huge thank you to him. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, which is, well, I'm going to try to start uploading every single Sunday at 5pm. So it'll be Sunday 5pm. So cool. See you guys then. Bye.